all at once, as though made brave by his display for of power, Feigen leaped down onto Humphrey, who was lying on it in his nest, and attacked him. Humphrey, screaming loudly, pulled away from Feigen and dropped to the ground. Feigen followed, attacked him again, and then climbed back into the th into the tree. Present presently, Humphrey climbed quietly back, quietly back too, and made a second nest. But Feigen was not the through when everything was peaceful again. He once more charged through the trees and attacked Humphrey. Again, they dropped fighting to the ground. This time, Feigen chased his rival, rival for some distance before leaving him. Poor Humphrey. He sat screaming until it was almost dark and Feigen had gone to the gone to bed. Then cautiously he climbed back into the tree and made his third nest. Never again for the rest of his life did he try to dominate Feigen and Flo and so Flo's son when he was about 23 years old, become, became top-ranking male. He was alpha until he died of, known, of unknown causes 10 years later. And guess what? In 1994, Fi-Fi's eldest son, Fruid, became the top male, of course, he didn't take over from Feigen. A male called Goblin was the co community, community for 10 years. Then young Wilkie took over for a while, but only for a couple of years. His place was taken by Fruid, who like who, like his uncle Feigen before him, was 23 years old. 23 is after her death. Flo's scadence from the most powerful family at Gombe, Gombe and by far the largest, largest. Fi Fi, who is now the top ranking female, has two more sons, Faustino and Baby. Ferdinand's daughter, Fanny, what, has a tr three baby. Ferdinand's daughter, daughter da Fanny, has a three years old son, old son of her own. And Flossie will give birth by the end of the 1996. Ferret is absolutely confident in his top ranked position and his brother brother Frodo is the largest male we have ever known at Gombe weighing 120 pounds Flo would be proud of them